Hey there, it's Ingrid from Camera Shy and IngridKellyOwens.com. Welcome to my second um, blog post or video post as it's turned into be on organizing your pictures. Now today what I thought we would do is instead of just writing the video or writing the words all down and trying to exp show tell you by um, talking about it I thought what I'll do is I'll just show you the process that I'm doing on my computer so you can have um, a wee look see and see how it's happening because I've had a few questions since I posted the first blog post and I'll put the link to that below the video as well um, where people are getting confused especially when they're trying to take in photos from their iPhone um, so what we're trying to do here is basically get all of our photos in one place so whether we're taking them with our digital SLR whether we're taking them with our iPhone whether we've got several different iPhones coming in on the one place um, or to be st stored on the one computer I want everything to be in the one position in the one place so that I can easily search um, through photos in the um, in my archive and pull up photos when I want to and so I know that when I've backed up my pictures everything is backed up so this the program that I use to do this is um, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom and I love Lightroom not only because it is so good at editing my pictures in an easy to understand way but also because it is a really powerful image organizer and if you know if you've been taking photos for a while you know that it's very they very quickly overwhelm and very quickly take over everything and so it gets it's, it doesn't take long to get to get to the stage where you've got photos on a hard drive and on a disc you know on a, like a USB flash drive and you've got some on a camera and some on cards and I understand from teaching here in person that a lot of people have this problem so let's get started and see um, where where we can take photos in from and how I do it in Lightroom and hopefully this will help you now if you don't have Lightroom and you don't want to invest in the full um, program you can use this system for other systems such as photos um, which was formerly iPhoto um, and I think you can still get iPhoto on the um, app store if you're using a Mac or Picasso they say they all work in a similar sort of way the thing to to remember though is to have one system and not try and do it in three or four different places um, and especially if you're a Mac user a lot of the defaults will be set for you to work with photos now photos does not play with Lightroom very well okay so I would suggest if you're going to do Lightroom stick to Lightroom now as I said you can get the software you can buy it on Amazon again I'll put some links below or you can subscribe to what's called the Adobe Creative Cloud and that will give you access I think for $9.99 a month to Photoshop to Lightroom and maybe put for Photoshop elements as well which is more than you need to use so if you want to just try it out for a month I think there's a free trial um, and you can see what you like but once you get committed to this system stick to your system so if you didn't read the last blog post really what I was saying was that I was trying to gather all of my photos from an old hard drive from um, my phone from all different places all in one and what I did was I have this external hard drive here let me show you my screen here I have this external hard drive and it has a bunch of different stuff on it um, let me show you here um, but what I did was I have created this big folder here um, called photos to be organized and so what I did just before I even got them into Lightroom is I just started to put like random photos that I would find on um, flash drives and on memory cards and maybe places and folders in my computer that I didn't think were in my catalog I just copied and pasted them or I moved them actually um, into this particular folder and this folder is just happens to be sitting on the same hard drive that my Lightroom library is going to end up being on now this doesn't have to be like this you can have it on another place you can have this on your computer I do not have a lot of room left on my computer so my ultimate goal is to get everything off of this computer pretty much um, and just no photo I mean no photos on this computer so that I can just use um, it for documents and stuff like that so I have a big folder here corrected photos to be organized and literally what I've been doing is copying and pasting them dragging and dropping stuff in here or just you know what however you get your pictures on to your computer now I wanted to go through um, 
for a second and, and there's probably two or three videos in here so we'll see um how we get on with this one but what happens um to a lot of people is when they connect their iphone what happens is is that automatically this photos document or this photos um program opens up automatically okay and so these are all photos from my my iphone now a lot of these have already been imported in um and if i went ahead and checked import right now this would take them into the photos uh, program on my computer so yes they would be imported into my computer but they would also be in this photos program so what I want to do is I don't want to do that in future and you can see here we've got Ingrid's iPhone I'm going to uncheck this box so now in the future when I open my or connect my iPhone to my computer it will not automatically open this up okay so let's close out of here because we don't want to use this photos app close it down it's gone. and what I want to be in is Lightroom okay so what you want to do to do in Lightroom is go and navigate yourself to the import button and that will bring up this um, window pane right here now you can see that over here on the left hand side under source I have all of the different devices and files that I could copy and bring stuff into the Lightroom library now I could bring this stuff in that's already on the my my um, book that's what my external hard drive is um, and if I was to navigate to um, photos where is it where did I do it What did I call it? Photos to be organized. So there's that folder right there and I put it in all caps. And so I could go through that and do it individually. And I think I probably will because I want to just, you know, go through. There's some things in here that I may not even want to get out. So these were random photos. Maybe people had emailed me, people like photos that had just like appeared. Um, there's some stock photos in here that I downloaded and they were in the downloads file and they hadn't been put into Lightroom. Um, so basically these are files, uh, files of photos or folders of photos that really haven't got a place to live right now. Okay, so that's that. So if I wanted to import those, I could import it all in one go by just checking import over here or I could um, you know, select them individually. Now the important thing is over here to have checked is do not don't import suspected duplicates so that's going to prevent you from having doubled up um, all your stuff because what happens is a lot of times you might have a file folder um, of maybe downloaded photos and you you've already imported them you didn't know you had but you have so those are there you know um, already in your Lightroom folder but you did never delete them off of this file so you can see here that's happened with a lot of these you can see the, how they're grayed out so I'm not going to import those, right? I'm not going to import suspected duplicates. Um, but I also, the way that I have my Lightroom photo library set up is the big master photograph, uh, the big master folder where everything goes into is called photos go here, right? So there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to go in the right place. Photos go here, right? And I, I, I learned that from um, a girl called Laura Shu who has some really good videos on um, her website about Lightroom and organization um, so I link to her and this as well so um, here what will happen what they'll go in under because I have I, how I have it set up to organize under date order and the date format and I like organizing by date because um, you know, the date is set right on my camera all the time and I can fairly, you know, can place an event fairly appropriately to a date. Um, I do go in and rename my folders after I have edited them and that's just kind of my personal system. Like I'll edit them, then I'll rename it, but I'll still keep the date in the file name or the folder name. Um, but it's all up to you. Again, it's get a system and stick to it. So I like to organize by date, photos go here. And so of course we're talking about photos that are older. So like if I knew that what they were about, I might put them in um, uh, 
a folder that was specifically for their name but if I didn't I will just put them in photos go here under date now one thing I do have here that I know I will uncheck and that's why I want to go through this photos to be organized is some stock photos stock photos that I've taken and stock photos that um were taken by other people they will go in under date order because of the default here but I don't want them to go in under date order because um I just want to be able to access my stock photos all in one album. I don't really care what date they were taken on. So those will go separately in my system, but it'll be different for everybody's. So photos go here and then you see how it's breaking these all up into the dates that they were taken. Now, in this apply during import, you could put keywords and stuff in here. For me at this point, because I'm organizing old photos and there's such a jumble, there does, it doesn't really make any sense for me to put in keywords in here right now. But if I was doing a new file import, then I would um, do that in keywords. And I'll show that in a different video. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Now, um, let me show you something else here as well. So this is all on my book. Um, one of the things that people get confused about, as we talked about a second ago, is when they connect their iPhone and they want their iPhone pictures to come in. Now, the easiest way to do this is to treat your iPhone like an external drive or an external source right here. And so you can see in Lightroom, it comes up as a device. Now, if I had an external hard drive or even an internal um, drive that would let me read from a memory card, it would show up here as well, okay? So instead of like connecting your... Um, you know, your memory card and it's showing up in photos, it will show up here instead, right? As long as you have this set, don't in, um, import suspected duplicates, these will come up, okay? So all the other ones will come, you know, you'll not take ones that have come out. Now, sometimes what happens is you might delete photos in your library and you haven't deleted them on the camera yet and so they will do import but I'd rather be safe than sorry and I'd rather take in all of these things and um, just as they are so you see here I've got movies I've got all sorts of things and they're all going to come in now the one thing that these files all have in common is that they all came from Ingrid's iPhone so what I'm going to write here um, is whoops Ingrid's iPhone because I also have my husband's iPhone and it comes in here as well so we'll click Ingrid's iPhone as a keyword I know that they were all taken in 2016 so I'll, I'll just put a keyword in there 2016 and they were all pretty much taken this summer so I'm going to put in summer there as well because they were all taken this summer I know that you know maybe you don't know that specifically yet so I will put that into summer. I will say go, photos go here. Lightroom will automatically pop them all into, I don't know why it's saying there's something for 2014 there. I don't think that should be, it says there's zero. But there's a couple there going back. There, none, none in any of those dates. So you'll see that 166 of them are all going in to 2016 and those are the dates so the folders they're going into will be on the 24th of May all those different ones. so see how it organizes a lot of them for me now a lot of them are zero I'm not even sure why it pulls those up but um we let Lightroom figure and worry about that it it you know it's it's going to it's all going to work out fine and then all I do here is click the import button and so what um so some of them are, are not going in that's okay so uh, what is happening here is the camera is copying them from or sorry the computer is copying them from my phone and importing them into the play the folder that is called photos go here which lives on my external hard drive okay and it is also copying them into the Lightroom folder so that I know they are in Lightroom now so Lightroom knows them they'll he'll, they'll find out Lightroom can see where they're at um, and um, it, it can read from them so they're searchable they're in my library and as you can see here all of my library is organized by um, year and then by month and then by date and I will go through this setup with you in another video but for right now that's all I wanted to show you I just wanted to show you how uh, Lightroom imports your how you can import your pictures from Lightroom once you've got them all to one place and I you don't obviously as you go forward once you have them then it will become so much easier this process becomes so much easier you can keyword a lot more detail because pretty much you're going to be getting um, uh, everything in from one um, 
scenario at a time, one shoot at a time. So it'll become much easier. But until you get to that point, this is how you do it. Have all your photos in one place, import them all in, and then as you take them in from different devices, go via Lightroom. The key is to start with Lightroom and not through another program that your computer your, your computer might open. So I hope that helps you. Um, if it does, I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, we will have more of these videos coming regularly on a regular basis. Um, and so there will definitely be at least one more, if not a video, a blog post on this particular series. So um, I hope you will come back and check it out next week. Thanks. Bye.